All right, YouTube, what's going on? Derek Reeves back with another video. And today, we're talking candy. Yes, a lot of you guys have been requesting it. Um, I've been meaning to make the video. What we're gonna be talking today about is the a basic guideline for anyone on how to sell candy, how to be successful selling candy. Because uh, you know me, Candy King, Candy Man. I've sold a lot of candy. Uh, before we get into the video, like, subscribe, be very, very helpful. You know, I put a lot of thought into this one because you know I am passionate about the uh, the candy sales. So like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you know someone that sells candy, maybe would like this video. Do that for me. Without further ado, let's get into the first point. Reason for selling candy. Why are you Risking your life, risking your life, risking your high school education slash career slash why are you selling candy? All right, that's the question. There's only one reason. You want some money, don't you? Well, you know, you come to the right place, you come to the right video, cause I'm about to, I'm about to pour out all my secrets in the next ten minutes. So establish your reason for selling. Okay, we have already. You want some more money? Now the next question is. Where to buy? Sam's Club? Go to. Easy go to. Sam's Club. If you don't have a Sam's Club in your location, then Walmart perhaps. Smart and Final. Extra. Amazon. Believe it or not, Amazon or Amazon Prime. I, I've never even used it. My my views once or twice. They sell candy. To follow up on where to buy it, you're gonna be asking how much or what to buy. If you're starting off, what I'm gonna recommend is a variety pack there's two there's two go-to variety packs that for me and obviously for you and the first one I'm gonna put a picture up you're gonna see it is the Skittles Starburst variety pack and then my second go-to variety pack would be Hershey's brand variety pack at least I think it's Hershey's it's a uh, Hershey's almond Hershey's Kit Kat and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You get four uh, different chocolates. And basically that's where you wanna start. You get nine different candies for 30 to $34. Because in each, in each variety pack, those specific variety packs is 30 in each and they're gonna go for about 14 to 16 bucks, 14 to 17 bucks where you buy them, all right? So now look at that, you're started. You've just spent 30 to $35, and you have nine different candies to choose from. Great, that's where you start. When to sell, all right? Simple answer to that, all the time. Whenever you can, as much as you can. When there's free time in a school day, that's when you should be selling, don't let Candy selling become more important than your schoolwork or what this, the teacher's having to say, which I'm gonna get into the next point is selling during class, all right? So selling during class has always been um, an acquired slash practice skill. This is something you need to practice because you cannot always just be, you know, selling during class, all right? You gotta look for the proper moment and let it flow. So if your teacher is teaching, obviously, hell no, heck no, you're not gonna be selling during class. If your teacher's talking, that's just a negative. You, you, you don't wanna be selling during class. Um, if your teacher is teaching a lesson and say it takes 30 minutes, and right when the 30 minutes is over and he said, you know, he lets you work, you know, you look around for whoever might be wanting the candy or maybe that might be an opportunity if he lets you get out of your seat and mingle with your uh, classmates. Say, hey, would you like to buy some candy? And you're probably wondering, you know, how am I supposed to approach my classmates slash people out on the schoolyard? How to sell, all right? What are you supposed to say when you're selling candy? You know, you don't want to come off as this just random first time seller type guy type girl you want to come with confidence so how to sell 
Number one, confidence. What to say when selling? That's on you, all right? Some of you may know, I had a little, uh, a little, a little line, you feel me? And it basically goes like, anyone trying to buy tonight? Anyone trying to buy tonight? Anyone trying to buy tonight, all right? Really, if you think about it, anyone trying to buy tonight, what you, you're, at, you're making them ask, what am I buying? What is he selling? And it's not even tonight, we're at school, it's midday, you know? So, that was mine, don't even steal it. You're not gonna get away with it, think of your own. It could simply be, for starters, I'm gonna give you one. This is the one you're gonna use, and it's gonna go like this. You're gonna walk up to a group, it doesn't have to be a group of people, but you're gonna walk up to someone and say, uh, are you interested in buying any candy? I got about di nine different types in my bag. A dollar a piece. It's very important to let the the potential buyer know how much. Obviously, every single candy is going to go for a dollar. Which I didn't even get into that point. How much are you selling these candies for? So, you're buying a variety pack. And that variety pack is going to come with 30 candies. $15, 15 14 to $17 a box. And now you're gonna wanna sell these boxes, these candies, for a dollar a piece. You're gonna, you're gonna double your profits, all right? Because you're essentially buying one candy for 50 cents. You sell that 50 to roughly 60 cents. Oh, my numbers are up, all right? I don't get into the numbers until you start making the numbers. Then I'm gonna get into the numbers. But in the box, there's 30. You buy for 15. And then you sell each individual for one. So now you have $30. Now with that $30, you keep 15 and you use the other 15 to buy the, the second box, which obviously you're gonna need in one to three days after selling candy. Next point we're gonna get into is bag type. Now, this is important because how much candy are you bringing each day? How do you want it to look, do you want to look in, incognito? Yes, you do want to look incognito walking to school like you got just books in there, but you got hella candy, right? So bag type is important. Jansport, Jansport's okay, you know, if you're, if we're just starting out. Let me just get something here. Something like this, little, little gym type bag would be okay. Cause you could fit, hmm, you could fit 30 candies in here without looking at, making it look too suspicious. So if you're starting off, I would say a gym bag would be good so you can have the candies there and you can pass off as like, oh, it's my soccer bag, it's my track bag, it's my anything bag. And you also have your regular books. Keep, your, keep yourself in check. Next point is parent permission slash approval. Why is it important? You know, you might be asking, you know, I'm just doing this on my own. I don't need, a, I don't need my parents involved. Well, you do. You know, it's important to have your parents' permission because what happens when you get caught and they're calling up, hey, so -and -so, did you, I, this is uh, so-and-so from so-and-so school and we're calling about your son or daughter selling candy. Do you don't know anything about <gasps> What? Blah, blah, blah. You know, you want your parents to be backing you up. And really the only way they're going to back you up is if your grades are in check. So... The, my point here is parent permission slash approval goes hand in hand with point grades in check. If your grades are in check, then really everything else just becomes so much easier. So I'm gonna say grades in check, respect your teachers because if if you're, if somehow your teachers get mixed up and everything, then it's good to have them behind your back and get your parents approval, you know? Just tell them, hey, I'm gonna make, make a little couple extra bucks. I'm gonna sell candy at school. They're usually that easy. All right, I'm getting sweaty here because I got all the fans off because I want you guys to hear me. Point two, point two, this is like what, point 17? My next point would be preparation slash organization. Now, the before you go off and sell candy and make all this money, you gotta think the night before. What does the night before look like? So you wanna, me, I usually just spread out my candy. I look, what am I gonna be? What's gonna be my product tomorrow? So you lay it out. I'm not even laid out, just stack it up. Just know what you're gonna be putting in your bag. 
that's preparation. Organization, you want to be putting these candies in your bag so that they, they stay in there, they're snug, they're tight, and they're not moving around type thing. That's being organized. So when you open your bag, you see, oh, chocolates on this side, non-chocolates on this side, aka sweets on this side, right? And getting into chocolate slash preparation, you're going to want to think, well, hmm, depending on what tomorrow brings the weather, the, what, what the weather brings tomorrow, the chocolate might melt. Yes, many times your chocolate will melt if you don't prepper prepare properly right so you're gonna want to put most of your all of your chocolates in the fridge the night before um so you're that's just, wow I'm, just, I'm moving on so smoothly here going on to my next point would be weather 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 is so 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 important because you know your product could be wiped out and never sold again you could bring 10 chocolates one day and then lose five bucks because you just they just all melted. Potentially lose 10 bucks because you brought 10 because they all melted. So yes, you do want to prepare your products properly and keep your non-chocolates, aka sweets slash sours in a room, a room temperature environment and your chocolates in a cold space. So that way when morning comes, you grab your chocolates, put them in, they lot, they're cold, they're hard for about, you know, three hours and then when the when it, the day gets going, then they're fine. Now we're gonna talk about a little bit about the mind and how your mind could play tricks or kind of bring you down, not even in just candy selling, but in life. But now I'm gonna talk about life right now. So, what mindset I want you guys to have, let me check if my camera's still working here. No room for competition mindset. You're gonna, you wanna have the mindset that you're the best candy seller, you have the best product, and everyone in the school knows that because you know that. And since you know that and they know that, then they're gonna act on that and they're gonna wanna buy from you and you only. So no room for competition. If there's competition, why why, why is the person that they're selling to not your customer? Because believe me, people, there is gonna be competition. There's gonna be so-and-so selling over here. There's gonna be so-and-so selling over there. But you gotta, you gotta stick to your guns and just tell yourself, you know, my product's the best. They may be buying from you now, but I'm the guy. I'm the guy that they're getting that good, good, that 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 good, good you never heard of. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying either. But also, you want to have the knowledge of the market is big enough for so and so to sell over there, and for so and so to sell over there. You're still gonna make money. You're still gonna push the sales. You know, competition, that's just the part of, that's just the way of business. So no room for, no room for competition mindset, big enough market reality. In reality, the school is big enough for everyone to sell candy. When I say everyone, I really mean five people. <laughs> so five people um, selling candy, you know, that's kind of a lot. But you want to have that mindset. Really people is don't get discouraged because some days are gonna be good, some days are gonna be great, and a lot of days for you at the beginning may be bad. So if you're selling five candies a day, 10 candies a day, 15, whatever the, the, the number you may, may be, if it's low in your head, don't get discouraged at all. You know, we all been there. I've had days where I've sold three candies. I have days where I sold one candy, one candy. And I've had days where I've sold 166 candies now it took me very very long to get to that that number which I'm very proud of and I'd like to pass my knowledge on to one of you all of you really so um, that's number 166 I hope you can get there if you enjoy this video subscribe if you super enjoyed it like and subscribe and if you super duper duper enjoyed it like subscribe share Share it to someone you may know that sells candy. Share it with someone that you think could be a good candy salesman in high school and or middle school. Just share it, okay?